Hello, welcome to how to solve these equations for x and y. 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power y is equal to 10 and 4 to the power x minus 4 to the power y is equal to 8. We can write this 4 to the power x as 2 to the power 2 whole to the power x plus and we can write this 4 to the power y as 2 to the power 2 whole to the power y is equal to 10 and in the second equation we can write this 4 to the power x as 2 to the power 2 whole to the power x minus and we can write this 4 to the power y as 2 to the power 2 whole to the power y is equal to 8. Now according to the property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n is equal to a to the power n whole to the power m. We can write this power x inside the brackets and this power 2 outside the brackets like this 2 to the power x whole to the power 2 plus 2 to the power y whole to the power 2 is equal to 10. And in the second equation, we can write this 2 to the power x inside the brackets and outside the bracket we write the power 2 minus and 2 to the power y inside the brackets and outside the brackets we write the power 2 is equal to 8. Next we suppose that let 2 to the power x is equal to a and 2 to the power y is equal to b. And if we substitute a and b in this equation, this equation becomes a square plus b square is equal to 10. And if we substitute a and b in this equation, then this equation becomes a square minus b square is equal to 8. And we add these two equations 1 a square plus 1 a square 2 a square and this positive b square will be cancelled with this negative b square is equal to 10 plus 8 18. Next we divide both sides of this equation by 2. This 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left a square is equal to 18 divided by 2 9 and from here we take square root of both sides. This square will be cancelled with this square root and a is equal to square root of 9 is plus minus 3. It means a is equal to negative 3 and a is equal to positive 3. Now to find the value of b, we subtract this second equation from this first equation. The first equation is a square plus b square is equal to 10. The second equation is a square minus b square is equal to 8. And we subtract the second equation from first equation signs of a second equation will be changed. This positive a square becomes negative a square and this negative b square becomes positive b square and this positive 8 becomes negative 8 and this positive a square will be cancelled with this negative a square. 1 b square plus 1 b square is equal to 2 b square is equal to 10 minus 8 2. We divide both sides by 2. This 2 will be cancelled with this 2. B square is equal to 2 divided by 2 1 and from here we take square root of both sides. This square will be cancelled with this square root and B is equal to plus minus 1. It means B is equal to negative 1 and b is equal to positive 1. 
now recall that we have supposed that 2 to the power x is equal to a and 2 to the power y is equal to b we have supposed that 2 to the power x is equal to a and 2 to the power y is equal to b now from here you can see that 2 to the power x is greater than 0 so this a must be greater than 0 and this value of a negative 3 is less than 0 so we reject this one we only accept this value of a positive 3 and we put this value of a 3 in this equation 2 to the power x is equal to the value of a is 3 now to find the value of x we take log of both sides log of 2 to the power x is equal to log of 3 now according to the property of logarithms log of a to the power n is equal to n times log of a we can write this log of 2 to the power x as x times log of 2 is equal to log of 3 next we divide both sides by log of 2 left side divided by log of 2 and right side divided by log of 2 this log of 2 will be cancelled with this log of 2 and here left x is equal to according to the property of logarithms log of a over log of b is equal to log base b of a we can write this log of 3 over log of 2 as log base 2 of 3 this is the value of x now we find the value of y now from here you can see that this 2 to the power y is greater than 0 so this b must be greater than 0 so we reject this value of b that is negative 1 less than 0 we only accept this value of b positive 1 and we put this value of b 1 in this equation 2 to the power y is equal to value of b 1 2 to the power y is equal to we can write this one as 2 to the power 0 and you can see that the base is same at both sides so this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and y is equal to 0 so the value of x is log base 2 of 3 and the value of y is equal to 0 now to verify these values of x and y we put these values of x and y in original equation the original equation is 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power y is equal to 10 this equation we put the value of x log base 2 of 3 and the value of y 0 4 to the power log base 2 of 3 plus 4 to the power value of y is 0 is equal to 10 next we can write this 4 as 2 times 2 whole to the power log base 2 of 3 plus 4 to the power 0 is equal to 1 is equal to 10 now according to the property of exponents a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n we can write this 2 times 2 to the power log base 2 of 3 as 2 to the power log base 2 of 3 times 2 to the power log base 2 of 3 is equal to 10 and we move this plus 1 to the right side it becomes negative 1 next according to the property of logarithms b to the power log base b of a is equal to a 
this 2 to the power log base 2 of 3 is equal to 3 times and this 2 to the power log base 2 of 3 is equal to 3 is equal to 10 minus 1 9 3 times 3 9 is equal to 9 from here you can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so it is proved that the value of x is log base 2 of 3 is correct and the value of y is 0 is correct.